The fact that humans could soon unlock a sleepy superpower is a weird sciencey fact that boggles my mind. Some animals, like bears and squirrels, have the ability to sleep away the winter months, and as a person, a hibernation situation doesn't seem so bad in a world of constant existential crisis. But hibernation comes with more abilities than just those of the drowsiest of the seven dwarves. For example, it gives animals the ability to control insulin resistance and their metabolism, which allows them to put on weight in the fall and then burn that fat very slowly all through the winter. Then it allows them to survive conditions that would otherwise kill them, and then allows them to miraculously recover from an experience that would leave them disabled and brain damaged otherwise. See, first off, hibernation just requires not moving for long periods of time, you know? That's kind of the point. But if you've ever been bedridden for any length of time, you know that not moving around causes atrophy and muscle decay. And that's not something you can just roll out of bed and walk off. But if a bear or a squirrel rolled out of bed after sleeping for six months and could only walk as well as Greg Abbott, they would be in some trouble. However, that's not the case. They wake up and are ready to go. On top of that, during hibernation, they're exposed to freezing temperatures that would normally give them hypothermia, and blood flow is limited to their limbs and extremities that would normally cause tissue damage and brain damage, similar to if you'd had a stroke. But somehow they get by just fine. Well, it turns out the secret to their super naps is in their DNA. So with these super genes, it's amazing that American Eagle didn't decide that bears were best to sell their denim. But I guess, you know, the white bears don't actually hibernate and the black and brown ones don't exactly fit their brand. But it turns out, as luck would have it, scientists have discovered that we too have these good genes, they're just a little suppressed. But research in mice suggests that we may be able to set them free. By knocking out that genetic blocker that holds back our hibernation gene, in mice at least, it seems to affect all kinds of things like metabolism and insulin processing and weight gain and loss. And with that, it's giving scientists the ability to pick out and control specific functions of that genetic code. And the potential ramifications of this are huge. This could be a way to cure diabetes, address obesity. It could potentially help protect people susceptible to stroke or help them recover quicker. It could help cut down on recovery time from people who have to be bedridden for a long period of time potentially help people be less susceptible to hypothermia or frostbite. There's potential that it could be used to help address Alzheimer's. If the list goes on, this could potentially be some real life Bioshock shit. Now getting this to the point of a practical cure for anything would be a long ways off if we were actually funding science. And since we're not doing that because the toupee tyrant insists it's much more important to give billionaires tax breaks, I, I wouldn't hold my breath that this is gonna have a, a huge breakthrough anytime in the near future. But it's still cool to know that science could potentially save millions of lives, improve the lives of millions more, and make John Fetterman a less shitty senator just by unlocking our hidden hibernation abilities. But the fact that we've got a secret sleepy superpower that could solve certain sicknesses and save us from strokes, well, that is pretty mind-boggling.